Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashanti for the people who don't know and today I am doing an updated Q&A. I did one like three years ago on my channel but I am not the same person and obviously a lot has updated in my life so I thought it would be a great idea to you know update y'all. Okay so I asked y'all on my Instagram to ask me questions and I picked 21 of them. I would do more of these so if your question didn't get answered don't worry i'll do more of these but i took 21 questions so yeah let's get right into the video first question is how are you what are three goals you set for yourself this season okay so one i am good thanks for asking and i forgot to say happy new year y'all it's 2022 you know we up this year you already know but i am great and three goals that i have for myself this season um so i run track at the university of arkansas if you didn't know Three goals I have is to be consistent um, with like my times, and another goal I have is to be open to like any new events that could possibly happen. And another one is to stay positive throughout the whole season because anything can happen, good or bad, and I'm just ready for anything that comes with it. Okay, the second question is how does the transfer process work? So I have a lot of questions on transferring, but I'm, I just thought that it would be a good idea to do a separate video on it because there's a lot that I have to say about it. And plus there was a lot of questions and I didn't think there would be like a ton of questions on like the transfer process or anything like that. Because for the people who don't know, I came from the University of Mississippi and now I go to the University of Arkansas. So, and I run track. So I'll just take y'all like and do a whole different video on it because it's a lot. What are you most excited for in 2022? So I'm most excited for the season and just everything. Like it's a different year. It'll be a great year, period. Um, track meets, um, meets, like just the season in general. I'm just most excited for that. Um, what was one piece of advice that stuck, stuck with you throughout 2021? And I know a lot of people say this, but it's really to follow your dreams and never give up because with everything that I had going on last year it could have been really really easy to just say oh I don't want to run track anymore because it's not working out for me but like I didn't do that I just kept going and it really paid off question four is how's Arkansas so Arkansas is great like I didn't get a chance to come and visit so I just really prayed about it talked to my family about it and I'm very glad that I made this decision because it has been great thus far and you know of course i just got here but it's still amazing like i love arkansas okay six number six 2022 goals so i have a lot of goals but my main number one goal is to one get closer to god because last year i got really really close with god not because of all that i went through is a lot on why i did but i'm glad that i did so that's a big goal get even closer because you can't go wrong with that another goal i have is to be like more consistent on youtube because i just started i got my camera i got everything that i need now i can like start posting videos weekly and hmm, i feel like there's a lot that i want to accomplish like i want to be more consistent in everything that i do like taking more pictures posting more on social media i just want to be an outlook for younger people especially people who want to become um student athletes in college like i want to let them know the process and everything so yeah that's that's a few of my goals but i have a lot more what has been your favorite and least favorite workout so far at arkansas so i'm telling y'all right now this is the hardest training that i've ever had in my life but i would say my favorite workout i don't really have one but if i had to choose it'd probably be something on the shorter side even though i thought like because i'm really in the middle like i can go down and i can go up like i run the 400 but i can do like the 200 so i thought it was gonna be easy going down but no those workouts are just as hard like anything that's like 150 it sounds like oh it's only a 150 like that's easy 
no no it's not because those 150s hurt so i don't know i think one time i've done like blocks i did it like once i did blocks once and that was like that was one of the easy days you know it was longer but it was kind of easier or like hmm i would say anything that's not too long but like sh anything that's short but not as fast if you get what i'm saying so like if i did 150s they're not that fast they just you know short and then i would say my least favorite workout is definitely anything over 300 400 anything over 400 300 i don't like it but i get it done because that's what i gotta do to be great so okay number eight indoor or outdoor so i would say outdoor because the last time i ran outdoor i had a really really good season which was 2019 that was junior year of high school so the last time i had outdoor it was great um but this season i'm gonna really come back to y'all on that question because i'm gonna see how i really am indoor and out like with the real season because last year i redshirted so i only ran like three meets and that was only indoor so i didn't really get to outdoor to really see which one i like better okay number nine who's your favorite youtuber besides me so Britt wilson go subscribe to her channel um besides her of course i watch like hmm, i watch a little bit of everything so it's kind of hard to like pick one youtuber but i would say the person that i watch most is um this youtuber her name is princess j and like besides her i watch a lot of cheer like cheer people because i was a cheerleader i cheered for most of my life since i was eight years old and i watch a lot of cheer vlogs and like that type of thing so it's hard to say who's my favorite youtuber because i watch a lot of youtubers so um number 10 in 2021 what changed your life i would say a lot changed my life how i said before getting way closer to god changed my i just moved my whole life in like six months i know that sounds a little dramatic but like that's really what happened like um at the beginning of 2021 i was living in oxford mississippi and now i'm living in Fayetteville, arkansas still i'm originally from chicago illinois so i feel like that changed my life the most just like what i experienced at my old school is something that i never experienced before because first of all I'm, i was a freshman in college and just going to college alone is an experience but what i personally experienced there is something that never i never experienced before so that really did change my life number 11 will this season be a movie i think it is i think that this season will be amazing because first of all just running in general i am blessed like i don't think y'all understand i had to sit out and watch everyone else run but since i'm gonna be able to run this season it's just a blessing in itself so yes it's gonna be a movie just because of the simple fact that i can finally get on the track and show my potential so yeah number 12 is favorite meet thus far so i would say any meet in high school no 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 new balance nationals outdoor i've only been once because i made it my junior year i made indoor senior year but that's when COVID happened and i think that new balance outdoor was my favorite meet because one i've never been before and that was experience like i got to meet all these college co college coaches and i got to talk to them and just to see where i ended up really is really interesting okay 13 what's the hardest workout that you've done this far the hardest workout that i've done this far is anything 600 anything like that because it's not like i've done 600s before but at this pace i've never done that or like 400 repeats i did not do that in high school i do them now and those are hard so anything that's 400 600 number 14 pineapple or midnight v so pineapple is the my old car's name i had a volkswagen jetta 2016 and midnight v is my new car i have a kia forte 2022 i'm blessed i'm blessed y'all but 
the only reason why I got Midnight V is because I got into an accident when I got here. One day, me and my friend, we were on our way to weights, and this car backed up and hit the front of Pineapple. So, Pineapple got totaled, and I didn't have a car for like two, two to three months. But my mom, I love her so much, she made it happen. She made it happen. God, we got in my mom. I was able to get a new car. So she shipped my car out here. And I love Midnight V. And I love Pineapple. Pineapple, it was nothing wrong with Pineapple. Like, everyone knows that I love my baby. But now I don't have her anymore. But now I got Midnight V, which is definitely an upgrade. And I am blessed to just have a new car. Like, I don't know. I'm still excited about it because I had to figure out what I was going to do for months without a car like I had to catch the bus I had to walk to school and I live off campus so I had to figure out all of that for three months but it was worth it because I got a car which was a blessing okay number 15 what's your favorite song at the moment so I wouldn't say that I have a favorite song in this moment but I feel like any Rod Wave song I love because Rod Wave is my favorite artist so any song you play by him, I'm going to start singing because I just love Rod Wave. Okay, number 16. How many hours do you put into track on average in a week? So, I think we have weights for, weights only last like an hour. And then practice every day, it lasts for like two to three hours. So, if you add that up and multiply by the number of days in a week. But we don't practice on Sundays. We practice on Saturdays sometimes. So if y'all do that math, then that's how that's how long. Okay. 17, what's your favorite place to eat in Arkansas? I really like this Thai place. It's called um, Spice Thai or Thai Spice, one of those. We have one of those at home. And I think I like it so much because it reminds me of the food back at home. Or like dip tacos here, and it's good. Los, I forgot the name. I'm not going to embarrass myself. But I forgot the name. But that place is really good. And yeah, when I discover more places, I'll come back to y'all on that. Okay. 18. How is Ole Miss different from Arkansas? So, first of all, the environment is different. I'm in two different states. I mean, they're both, like, down south, but it's still different. Um, the training's different. The people are different. The coaching staff is different. School is different. Like, this last semester was the hardest semester ever. And when I was back in my old school... I don't really have that much trouble, but again, I changed my majors. Like my major now is nursing, so obviously that's gonna be a little bit harder. Then my old major was was allied health studies or health science, and maybe again because I was a freshman and now I'm actually doing classes that's going towards my major. So I would say school and track and everything like that. Um, number nineteen. When's your birthday? My birthday is July 23rd. I was born in 2002, so I'm 19. I'm going to be 20 this year, y'all. I am old. Oh, my gosh. Um, number 20. How does your mom look so good and she's about to be 40? So, I'm going to insert a picture of my mama. I can't, she told me today. I was on the phone with her. She told me today that she was about to be 40 years old. <laughs> 40? I said, Mom, that's old. Like, Mom, that's old. How are you going to be 40? She looks like my sister. Like, whenever we go out, people always say, Oh my God, that's your mom? She looks like your sister. And she always, you know, have parents be, Oh my gosh, stop. Yeah, that's her. She's that parent. But yeah, she's so beautiful. And I love her so much. I don't know how. I said, There's no way you're going to be 40 years old. She said, Yes, it is. I was like, Stop it. But yeah, she looks amazing. And 40, like what? Period. And then the last question is, how did you stay positive with going to a new school? So, I stay positive by, I feel like changing my mindset about it. Like I knew that I would be coming to a school where people, where people were already running really, really fast in the times that I want to run. So I just took it in a more positive way as in, I'm going to train with them and I'm going to get better and as long as I come and practice with a positive mindset to get work done, to do it right, not just go through the motion, then I will be better and better athlete for my y'all.
Why y'all didn't tell me? I've been looking at myself this whole time. So if it looks weird, then I'm sorry. I gotta practice looking into the camera. Wow, I just did that whole video. But it's okay. The next video, I got y'all. Just talking to my loved ones about um, practice and praying about it, talking to my coach, just getting more confidence, going into practice, knowing that I still have something to look forward to and I know I'm going to be better in the end. No matter how hard the workout is, just, you know, keeping a positive mindset. That would conclude my Q&A. 21 questions with Ashanti, period. Um... There will be more content coming soon. I'm going to be more consistent on videos and everything. So, yeah. I'm just excited for 2022. So, like, comment, subscribe. You want to see more content. And see you in the next video.